Hello everybody, in this video we're going to look at adding with strings, which has a special name, concatenation. So one day I asked my son, what's 1 plus 1? And my son says, Daddy, 1 plus 1 is 2. And 1 plus 1 is 11. This is a true story by the way. And they're actually both correct. And here's how it works. In Python we have something called concatenation. And that is, if I take a string plus a string, I make a longer string. It's the same as the join in Scratch, in case you've ever used that before. I can also multiply an integer with a string. This one isn't that commonly used, but really it's exact same thing because multiplication is the same as addition. All right, so now I have some examples. In my first example, I'm gonna add integer one plus integer one. And when I do that, I get integer two. In my second example, I'm adding string one plus string two. And when I do that, I'm joining the ones together and I'm getting string 11. But it's not the number 11, it's a string 11. Next example, I'm adding string happy plus string birthday, and I get happy birthday, but look, there's no space in between. It doesn't change if I add a lot of spaces after the plus. If I want to get the space in there correctly, I need to add the space inside one of the quotation marks. Python will print exactly what's inside those quotation marks, no more, no less. And in this next example here, I'm adding three strings together. So when I add three strings together, that joins the three strings. And again, I need to follow the same rules about spacing. There are no spaces unless I put the spaces in there. All right, so here I'm doing three times a string, and that's basically saying string plus string plus string. Multiplication is the same as addition. My spacing is bad, so I'm gonna fix that. Again, Python's not gonna put the space in unless you put it in. And now I'm going to show you some ones that don't work. An exponent, a string to the power of 2, and you see you got an error here. I'm going to show you how to interpret these errors. So I have errors on line 2. It says unsupported operand type. What operand is not supported? The power. What's it's not supported for? The string and the int. Here's another example. It's not supported for division between a string and an int. So division with strings is not happy. Power with strings is not happy. Here's another one. Floor division with strings is not happy. <coughs> it's not happy if I flip the order, but here it says int and string, because that's the order of what I have in my code, an int and a string. Floats and strings are not happy. So there's two messages I want to have here. The first is that almost all maths with strings does not work. Pluses work, addition works and that joins strings together, and multiplication works, but only because it's the same as addition. The other take home message is that you will get errors when things don't work, and you can interpret these errors when things don't work, and this is a skill you're really gonna wanna have as you get more experience in Python. All right, so now we're at the part where I go over the solutions to the labs. You should try these labs. They're not too bad, I promise, so please pause the video, but if you get stuck, go ahead and check out the solutions. All right, so here I'm going to the concatenation lab. The lab asks you to do a concatenation of two strings and it wants you to print out computer science with the correct spacing. So I'm gonna try it here. Oops, the spacing is wrong. I need to add the spaces inside my strings. Again, Python will print exactly what's inside those strings. It will not do a space unless you add that space. All right, so on to the second one. What I want to do is, I want to do, basically, we're going to have you reproduce my son's math problem. My son says 5 plus 5 is equal to 55, and make that work. So I'm going to run it first, and I get a syntax error. And the syntax error says, can only concatenate strings to strings. You can't do strings and ints. So I'm going to fix that. Look, I have a print, a string, plus an int, which matches my error message. To fix this, if 5 plus 5 is equal to 55, I know that that's because they're both strings, not because they're integers. I turn them into strings by putting the quotation marks around it, and then it works. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hope that was useful to you. And if it was, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.